There was a story going around Fukushima province that sunflowers could absorb radiation. Yoshiro Watanabe has more faith these days in his Geiger counter. He patrols his neighborhood checking for hot spots where radiation levels are over the safe limit. Unfortunately, there are plenty of them. After three of the six Daiichi reactors went into meltdown two and a half years ago. Every day there is radiation. We can't see it spreading into the air and into the ocean. One day the world will sue Japan for this. He has records for every household. He believes the area should not be lived in, that the government's not been serious about the cleanup. But the locals are crisis fatigued. It's been nearly three years, and nothing really bad has happened to people here, so they've started to think there isn't a problem. But radiation takes 20 years to become a problem. And at the nearby beach, despite news that highly radioactive water is leaching into the sea, locals are cooling off. They told us they were philosophical. Everywhere now was radioactive. They can't escape it. The stricken Daiichi nuclear plant is 35 kilometers up the coast that way, and this beach only opened to the public in July. Back then, authorities said that radiation in the seawater had fallen to acceptably low levels. But when Yoshiro Watanabe took sand samples for analysis, he found levels there were far higher. No one here knows what a safe background level is anymore. The Japanese are now part of a massive non-consensual experiment on radiation exposure. This man worked at Daiichi and its sister plant Daini for more than 20 years. He says no one really knows how bad the situation is in the reactors because it's now deadly to go inside them. I personally believe that nuclear power and humans cannot coexist. Daiichi's workers have been strictly forbidden from talking to the media. The government is playing down the accident so it can keep exporting the technology to other countries. The Shinto shrine here is seen as the protector of this community. The government these days is not. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Fukushima province.